Ito yung sample na 5mm LED. Yung, yung longer lead, positive, anode. Yung shorter lead, negative, cathode. Then, ito yung electrical symbol ng LED at physical appearance niya. Take note the Ohm's Law. Meron tayong voltage, V, current, I, at resistance, R. Ito yung mga formula nila. Ito yung sample circuit na meron tayong DC voltage, yun yung voltage source, LED, at resistor. Positive DC voltage, nakakonek sa anode, positive ng LED. Then, yung negative LED, cathode, nakakonek sa end ng resistor. Then, the other end ng resistor, nakakonek sa negative uh, DC supply. Ito yung table ng LED color. Dito natin makikita yung forward voltage ng bawat kulay ng LED. Example, yung yellow, meron siyang 2.1 volts minimum ang typical voltage niya is 2.4 at 20 milliamps take note yung mga forward voltage ng iba't ibang color ng LED ito yung example circuit natin meron tayong DC voltage yun yung voltage source LED at resistor ngayon Apply natin yung Ohm's Law. Resistance is equivalent to voltage source minus yung forward voltage ng LED all over yung current na 20 milliamps. R is equivalent to source voltage 12 volts minus 2.1 volts red LED yung minimum niya, all over 0 0.02 ampere. Computed resistance value, 495 ohms. Simulate natin ngayon sa Proteus. Open lang natin yung Proteus. A few moments later. Mag-place tayo ng battery. Type mo lang yung battery. Hanapin mo yung set. Click mo lang. Then, place mo sa worksheet. Right-click mo. Edit properties. Palitan mo yung voltage. Gawin natin 12 volts. Click OK. Then, mag-place tayo ng LED. Gamit natin is, and sa example natin, red LED. Animated. Then, okay. Place lang natin sa worksheet. Then, right-click. Edit properties. Palitan lang natin yung forward voltage. Then, gawin natin 2.1 volts. Click okay. Then, place tayo ng resistor. Min res, 500. Wala tayo makita. Adjust natin to higher value. Gawin natin 510. Then, click mo lang yung 510R. Okay place sa worksheet. I-connect mo yung mga wires. Punta sa end ng R1. Then the end of R1, pupunta sa anode no LED. Then the negative battery, pupunta dun sa cathode no and LED. Then, simulate natin. I-play lang natin. Ang value ng resistor natin, dahil wala tayong magitang 500 or 495 resistor, ginawa natin 510. Okay, delete muna natin yung wire. 
connect tayo ng ammeter. Click mo lang yung virtual instrument. Then, hanapin mo yung DC ammeter. Then, click mo. Place mo sa worksheet. Right click lang natin yung ammeter. Mirror lang natin para yung positive na sa right side. Para makonect natin yung cathode doon sa positive terminal no ammeter. Then, yung negative terminal papunta dun sa negative na battery. Right click din natin. Edit properties. Palitan lang natin ang milliamps. Para ma-measure ng ammeter, milliamps. Play natin. So, ang ma-measure ng ammeter natin is approximately 20 milliamps. Stop natin. Palitan natin yung value ng resistor. Gawin natin 495R or ohms. Play natin. Then, observe mo yung ammeter. Almost 20 milliamps. Palitan natin ulit yung resistor. Gawin natin 470. And play natin. Almost greater than 20 milliamps. Dahil binaba natin yung resistor value. Next, gagawin natin, open natin yung Microsoft Office Excel. Dito, gagawa tayo ng table. Given natin dito, yung voltage source, then yung voltage ng LED. Yun yung forward voltage. Nung LED na given, for example, yung red is 2.1 volts. Then, yung current, given current, ay magbe-base tayo dun sa table, yung 20 milliamps. Then, ipo-formula natin yung computed na resistance or re resistor value using Ohm's law. Unit ng voltage source, siyempre voltage, V, a voltage ng LED, forward voltage, V, yung ampere at saka yung ohms, yung resistance, or value ng resistor. Okay, dito, given natin, yung voltage source natin, gawin natin 12, then forward voltage ng LED na red is 2.1, then the current is 20 milliamps, or 0 0.02 amp. Then, formula natin, equivalent natin, open, close, yung voltage source minus forward voltage nung LED 2.1 all over yung current 0 0.02. Then, press enter. Na-compute natin is 400 95 ohms Ngayon Ito yung formula Para in case na papalitan natin Yung vol voltage source Automatic na compute na yung Resistance value Or yung value nung Resistor Then press enter Ayan 495 siya Kung papalitan natin yung Voltage source automatic mapapalit ko or mako-compute na using Excel, Microsoft Excel, yung resistance value or yung value ng resistor. Pag 5 volts siya, 145 ohms. Doon natin malalaman na ang LED pwede pa lang 5 volts. Yung LED pwede pa lang 12 volts. Basta gagamit ka ng resistor. Pag walang resistor, either mapupundi siya or masisira kagad yung LED. Pag dinerecho mo yung anode at saka cathode nung LED dun sa mismong voltage source. Kaya mga tanong, sir, meron ba kayong 12 volts na LED? Sa loob nun, automatic may mga resistor yun. Kaya sinabing 12 volts, gagana sila sa 12 volts dahil na-compute na yung resistance nun. O yung value ng resistor. Oh, ngayon, balik tayo sa proteus. 
edit properties natin yung battery, gawin natin 5 volts based dun sa computation natin right click natin yung resistor edit properties edit natin yung resistor, gawin natin 145 then click ok then simulate natin, i-play natin tingnan natin kung 20 milliamps yung ammeter at iilaw yung LED okay, then, then edit properties natin ulit Palitan natin, medyo mas mataas, 150. Yun yung as in standard na resistor na available sa market. Then, play natin. A few moments later. Meron tayong sample circuit dito na may apat na LED, may resistor, at saka yung voltage supply or yung voltage source natin. Ang connection ng mga LED ay naka-series. Kita nyo naman sa circuit, naka-series yung mga LED na apat. Bali, may apat na LED. Ayan yung apat na LED, may forward voltage na 2.1 volt. Kung pagsasamasamahin natin yung apat na LED, bali, apat or four, equal or multiply yung forward voltage 2.1 ang total natin 8.4 bali meron tayong supply voltage na 12 volts at yung apat na LED may forward voltage na 8.4 then ang computation natin using the formula Ohm's law meron tayong Okay. Open, close, voltage source minus yung total voltage ng LED na apat. Divide mo ng 20 milliamps per 0.02 ampere. Total niya or yung computed value natin is 180 ohms. Um, right click lang yung resistor. Then, edit properties. Palitan natin ng 180 ohms. Then, play. Palitan natin 20 milliamps. LED in parallel connection. Pag sinabing parallel connection, isang source lang sila na 12 volts. May resistor and LED. Simulate natin. Play natin. Papansin nyo, yung ammeter natin, mataas yung current nya. Dahil doon sa apat na LED na nakaparallel. Kung isasama up mo yung current ng bawat isang branch o isang LED, 20, multiply mo lang yung 20 milliamps ng apat, bali almost 80 milliamps. Kapag ang mga LED nakaparallel sa circuit, ang power consumption nya, ay mas malaki compare sa series na LED.